Hello, and in this video we're going to be adding to our pin. This time uh, we're going to be creating the uh, ink cartridge and the tip of that pin. So I'm going to start a new part studio for that. So I'm going to create a part studio, uh, and I'll name this one, and I'll name this uh, part studio uh, my ink cartridge. So I'm going to rename it uh, ink cartridge. And later on, we'll look at how to add the different colorations when we do the top portion. But right now, we're just going to do where the ink actually goes in that pen. Uh, so to do this, I'm going to sketch. I'm just going to select the right, and I'm going to turn my right view. I'm going to start with a circle because I'm doing where that ink actually goes in the start. So I'm going to make a circle. Uh, we measure that to be about 0.1 inches. Uh, then I'm going to zoom in since it's really small and I'm going to do an offset because the ink has a little space within it uh, So we need that solid ridge. So we need that hollow and center part. I'm going to do an offset I'm going to hit that outer circle uh, and it wants to out offset outside. I'm going to drag that inside And I don't want to make it too small. So we want to be able to see it. I'm going to zoom in and we just want to make sure it's inside and I'm going to set and then when you click, you can set our value. And we want it to be 0 0.013 offset inside. And that gives us that outer ring we're going to extrude. Hit our green check. And then we're going to extrude. I'm going to click inside that space. And then you can turn it. Uh, I want to make it go back, just my preference in this case. A uh, distance of, we measure it to be 2.25 inches. Uh, hit our green check to accept. And that's where that ink is going to actually end up going in. Uh, next, we're going to add in our plane, so we can add in the tip that goes up into that ink cartridge as well. So I'm going to do a plane. Uh, I want it inside, so I want to select. Uh, I'm, I'll just select this plane since that's where I'm already at. I want it going behind it, so I'm going to change the direction, and it goes back a distance of about 0.1, it looks like. I hit our green check to accept, and we're going to start our next sketch on this plane we just made. So I'm going to select plane 1. And then I'm going to change to the right view for my next sketch. Next one's a pretty simple sketch. We're just going to do a circle from our origin. So a center point circle from our origin. And this time we want it to be 0 0.075. And that's going to fit inside that gap there. Uh, once you've done that, then we can extrude that circle out. And it's going to be a new part when we do that. So I'm going to hit our green check to accept. I'll change it to uh, angle view. And we can uh, do our... Extrude. So extrude. I'm just going to select sketch 2 because all I did was a circle on it. I want this to be a new portion because it's not part of the same piece. So make sure you select new. And this time we're going to go a distance of 0 0.03. Well, 0 0.3 in this case, I mean. So we go a distance of 0.3 and that's going to go out for our ink, uh, that tip of our pen. Hit our green check to accept. And you can see we got that new piece coming out. Uh, after that, I'm going to make another plane. So I'm going to go plane. I'm going to select that front flat edge of that tip. And I'm going to go 0 0.075 inches in front of it. So 0 0.075 inches in front. And that's where the very rounded, the ball polish and all our tips going to end up at. So we're making that pointy tip now. Hit our green check to accept. And now we'll do a sketch on this new plane we just created. I'll change to my right view. We'll zoom in so we can see what's going on. And we want a small little circle. So I'm going to go at the origin, make a circle, and this time it's going to be 0 0.025. Hit our green check to accept. And we're going to loft between those two. So I'm going to go ISO, zoom in so we can see what we're working with. And we want a loft. So I'm going to hit loft, hit this back circle, and then I'm going to hit my front circle. Oh, and I got just a tip. I didn't want that. So I'm going to hit the X. I didn't want the vortex. I wanted the whole circle. Uh, hit our green check to accept, and that gives us that front portion. So now what we want to do is we're going to do a new sketch on this plane 2 again. So we're going to go in that same spot. And this time I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to do that tip circle again. Uh, but I just need the semicircle. So I'm going to do from the origin. I'm just, I could have projected, uh, but 0 0.025 is my distance. And then I'm just going to make a line in the middle so I have a semicircle. So I'm going to go from the bottom up to the top, make sure it's coincident, and that gives us a semicircle. If you want, you can trim off the extra, you don't have to, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, and maybe I won't do it because it doesn't like it. I'll keep it how it is, and it didn't want to because my dimension went to that portion. The next, uh, what we're going to do is a revolve. So select, 
and then revolve. Uh, I'm going to zoom out to an ISO and select just this portion, just with half that circle. Revolve axis, I'm going to select that center axis. And you can keep it going a full circle. If you only want to do 180, that's fine too. Since it all overlaps, you, you don't have to change it. Uh, but we'll accept that for our ballpoint. Uh, next, we're going to name the part. So I'm going to go over to part two. I rename it to the tip. And after I rename it, I'm going to click on it again. And I'm going to edit appearance. And we want it, it's kind of a golden appearance color. Uh, not that color, not orange. So I'm going to select a golden appearance to it. Uh, try to get close. I'm not going to make it perfect. But as long as it's close to that golden appearance, that's what we're looking for. Uh, then the upper portion, again, I want to rename it, and I'm going to call that the cartridge because that's where the ink goes. That's our ink cartridge. And again, I want to edit the appearance. So edit appearance, and we want to make it look kind of that translucent type of color uh, that you have on this object. So hit our color, and that gives us our color. Uh, so that's the beginning of our ink pen. If you want to add in some ink, you can just sketch a circle and add in that ink of your color of your choice. Uh, that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to add in that top portion. That top portion has a lot of kind of small details that go with it. So I'm going to do a separate video for that one. Uh, thank you and good luck.